Um, hey guys, I uh, hope you're well. Uh, yes, yeah, so today we're going to look at um, algebraic uh, inequalities. Cool, right. Right, yes, yeah, so on the side note, guys, uh, I would appreciate it if, um, if you do subscribe. Uh, so please do subscribe. And share the videos with your friends as well. Also share the vids with your friends. Yeah, cool. So yeah, so let's get started. I've got P as my uh, first um, inequality. So abs. So then two minus uh, one over x. Strictly greater than three. Right. So solve that. Um, that P for x. Okay. Cool. Right. So. Um, Minus one and one over five. Um, the, the the solutions are closer to to these two numbers, but then the numbers are actually part of the solution. Okay, um, so they're getting closer to that, and uh, but uh, they're not actually um, part of the solution of the solution set. Okay, cool. Um, so clicking on to the next one as well. So um, I'll call it Q. Uh, so that's going to be three x squared. No, three x cubed. Three x squared. Right. Uh, minus 4x and then plus 1 is greater than or equal to uh, 0 okay and then solve Q for x cool right so minus infinity um, no part of the solution it's not a real number okay uh, so hence we got this uh, KV bracket uh, 1 over 3 is um, um, a, real, um, a real number, and um, it's also part of a solution. That's why we've got um, a square bracket, um, square bracket yeah, yeah. and it's, uh, it's the upper bound. Okay, and then the same thing as well here, uh, another s uh, solution set. So we've got 1 as uh, the lower bound, okay, and then infinity is um, the upper bound. But infinity is not part of the solution. It's not a real number. Okay, cool. So actually, one one third and one um, roots to that polynomial. Okay, right. So yeah. So the two solution sets that we have here, um, with one third and one being part of the solutions. Okay, cool. Right. So um, let's crack on. Um, I've got another one. So I'll just call that f, and then abs. Um, x minus 3 is greater than, um, uh, let's see, so abs, uh, x plus 4. Okay, then solve that, uh, f for x. Okay, yeah, minus infinity and uh, minus a half. Okay. Uh, minus infinity obviously is not a real number, not part of the solution. Uh, likewise, um, minus a half is not part of the solution, but the solution is closer to that side. Okay, cool. Right, um, I can also solve that um, this inequality as well in, in a different way. Uh, I'll just break them apart. So I'll call that F1. Okay. And then that'll be uh, abs. Uh, x minus 3 and then um, then the other one will be okay that g will be uh, abs x plus 4 just separate them anyway right and then uh, solve um, so f1 right uh, is greater than g for x Okay, cool. Yeah, just a different way of doing things, you know. Right, um, cracking on to the next ones. Um, so this time we're going to combine um, an equation and uh, an inequality. Okay, so I'm just going to go solve. Right, so curly bracket. Um, so y squared. Right, uh, that's equal to 9. Right, and... Um, uh, x plus y, sorry, x plus y, yeah, so x plus y 
um, is uh, less than eight. Solving for x and y. Right, yeah, we got that. Yep. So yeah. So there we are. So that's um, um, those are the solutions, and then uh, simultaneous um, inequalities. So I've got two of them as well that I'm just going to do, just to show you that we can work in different ways. Um, so that's x minus um, x minus two uh, times um, y, and that's greater than strictly greater than three. Okay, and uh, the other inequality will be um, so three times x. Okay. Oh, sorry. Three times x, yeah. Okay, we got there. Um, plus two y. Okay, and uh, that's greater than or equal to one. And then solving for x and y. Voila. So there we are. Okay, cool. So yeah, um, hopefully this was helpful. This is just a quick intro to um, inequalities um, using Maple. Yeah. So um, on a side note, um, thanks for watching and please do subscribe. Bravo, thank you guys and have a good day. Bye bye.